Hello, everybody, and welcome to race number six of the Intercell Universe Orlando Cup Series Season 8 here at Twin Ring Motegi, and for the first time ever, the Cup Series heads there. It's going to be interesting what's going to be taking place for the Sega 440 laps of action. Let's get down to your starting lineup on the pole, Kate Anderson, for today's race. Next to her will be Alex Ferranti. Third, Noah Hart. Fourth, William Flickinger. Fifth, Kyle Keefe. Sixth, Jeff James. Seventh, Courtney Keith. Eighth, Trent Dunham. Ninth, JT Brank. Playing top ten, John Hart. Here's the rest of your starting line from 11th and 12th on back. Not a bad starting job for Sykeet Motorsports there. As previously mentioned in the Xfinity series, the Cup series also has a different package as well, so that'll change variantly throughout the season as well. As on the final row, we have Sky Commons and Benjamin Miles. So in the Xfinity race, we had one caution that took play, and that was what went on by from there. The Cup Series, after six races in, Connor Meyer has the points lead over Joshua Osborne. Kate Anderson, who's jumped up to third in points after her win at Pocono, previous race winner, so she gets the pull. It's crazy enough. Benjamin Miles, Courtney Keith, completing the top five. Seth Cole, John Art, Sky Commons, Jeff James, and Charles Samper complete the top ten. So that is how they look from there. We're going to take a very quick break because I'm going to take a phone call real quick and we'll get the command in just a second. Drivers, stop your engines! As there's the command. I apologize for that with that phone call right there. That was a pretty important phone call right there. But anyways, we're going to turn them loose here for 40 laps. And rolling on off, Kate Anderson, a great start. Some consistency really has kicked in. And picking up her first career Cup Series victory really helped out. See some notables who are doing poorly in the standings. They're up here like Noah Hart, Kyle Keith. Good to see where they're at right there. Ramey and Fisher, another one as well. So Pace Car makes a dive down the pit road. And 40 laps around, around Twin Ring Motegi. As the Pace Truck car will make its way down pit road. And a green flag is down and we're underway in Japan. And for the first time ever, the Cup drivers make their way through Twin Ring and Again, only one caution that took place in the Xfinity Series. It came off of turn four. So a lot of eyes will be on that turn for the time being as Noah Hart will take second place from Alex Ferranti. And both the Bass Pro Shops cars of Kyle Keith and Courtney Keith on the inside line taking third and probably trying to take fourth place as well. But Kate Anderson will lead the first lap. And a car on pit road... That's Kyle Matthews in the 0-9. Oh, and a spin in the back. That's Connor Meyer, the points leader, and Zach Rogers. Cautions out for the first time on lap 2 of 40. Matthews comes back out with a lucky break for the Mellow Yellow Chevrolet, but they got to get him out quickly. And a very quick caution. Look at JT Bryant and Courtney Keith passing. Kyle Keith, Bryant trying to take third from the 40. And at the line... Anderson will leave, Hart will second, and Courtney Keep will get third. Meyer and Rogers, quick incident involving them two coming into turn one. And a quick yellow right off the bat as we're on lap three of 40. Caution's out. Anderson and the leaders take a look at ourselves, our first caution. We're with Zach Rogers in the six there. He's going to squeeze Connor Meyer into that turn one wall. Watch the six car literally riding the wall. And as they were riding it, see that cake that sinks out. Oh, man, Rogers just really got the worst out of it. Levi McIntyre barely is going to avoid that. Same for Sky Commons. And thankfully, these were the only two cars that got involved in that accident that took place right there for our first caution. Caution's out for the first time today for the second 400. Take it back to the green. Lights on top of the pace car out. Only one driver out of the race. That is Zach Rogers in the sixth. Kyle Matthews a lap down in 41st. Meyer continuing back out in 40th. Anderson out in front. Second, Noah Hart. Third, Courtney Keith. Fourth, JT Bryant. Fifth, Dylan Poteet. Sixth, Kyle Keith. Seventh, Alex Ferranti. Eighth, Quentin Moore. 
Ninth, Diego Yapa, Sweden, top 10, William Flickinger. Let's get your top 20. It's Jeff James, Jesse Turner, Audrey Bernalskis, James Qualls, Trent Dunham, John Art, Cody Lamas, Remy Fisher, Alex Strayton, and Brett Pritchard. That completes your top 20 as we're going to take you back to the green flag here. Now, originally, Courtney and Kyle Keith were supposed to have different schemes as green flag's back underway, but they were not ready at the time. Kyle was supposed to have DuPont, and Courtney was supposed to have... Uh, a different sponsor, which I believe was BWT, which I do not remember off my mind what it was exactly. So they had to run Bass Pro Shops. Trent Dunham, unfortunately, did not have Vodafone ready, so they had to get the backup car, which was Sega. Benjamin Miles had a problem. Literally, all the Sega Keith cars that had different sponsors, they didn't have their cars ready. So they had to run the cars they had from last race for sponsors for this race, which is a bummer. But you do what you gotta do is Kyle Matthews Got ahead of Kate Anderson. That's to put him back ahead and not be a lap down. And now Courtney Key, the Kate Anderson, a pair of SKM drivers here. One and two. JT Bryant now trying to take third place from Noah Hart. A pair of Georgia natives right here. And Ferranti starting to work his way up through the field. Hart now tucking back in the line. Kyle Keefe trying to complete the pass on Dylan Pozzi. And Kyle Keith said, well, you had your phone, Noah. Now I want that spot you got right there. Battle for position. Kyle Keith can't get the move hard. A good run on that outside line. Get enough of momentum. You can hold on. Kyle Matthews got to be enjoying what he's seeing right there because pretty soon Anderson and Courtney Keith may battle for that top position. Best battle right now, James Qualls. He's working his way up through the field. Past Jesse Turner and Diego Yepes. That's into the top 10 for car 70. Nice run by Johanna Atwin Motorsports right there in that Gastrol GTX colors there. I just heard a spin in the back, and I'm not sure if it brought out the caution. Oh, that's still at the road, Jessica Shelton. And yes, caution's out. Devin Becker involved again. And, yep, there it is. Caution is out. Oh, and Kyle Matthews, he's got to be hoping. Anderson doesn't try to make a pass on him. And looks like he's going to be A-OK. -okay. So it'll be Anderson, Courtney, Keith, JT Brent, Alex Ferranti, and Noah Hart, your top five. And mainly Devin Becker, Dylan Throw. They were the main two culprits out of all this here. And now all these drivers, they got to catch back up to where that main pack is there. For a second, I thought I seen Cody Loms with some left side damage. Be weird if he did. So we're going to wait to see if they come down pit road. And if they do, we'll see uh, the pit stops going on by. If they don't, we'll take a look. We brought ourselves our second caution today. So drivers are trying to catch up to the lead pack. Mainly, again, Devin Becker and Dylan Thoreau with damage. Kyle Matthews, lucky break for that Meliel Chevrolet. He's back on the lead lap now. And first priority is probably going to be getting around that car 51 there. And indeed the case, pit stops. Really not some good angles here. So we're going to stick to the Spectre camera angle, and we're going to stick it with Anderson. In car number three here, and you can see she's trying to get into her stall. You see JT Bryant. That's Courtney Keith right there. Kyle Keith, Noah Hart, Alex Ferranti, all in their stalls. And we'll stick to TV2. Oh, and Alex Ferranti, nice pit stop for the 84. I believe he did two tires there. Same for Quint Moore and Brett Pritchard. Anderson now out and away. Courtney Keith, JT Bryant, Noah Hart, Dylan Pote, Kyle Keith, Audrey Bernalskis, James Qualls, and others. Slow stop for William Flickinger in the eight. So again, Kyle Matthews, a lucky break for him, but a two-car incident that took play here involving Devin Becker and Dylan Thoreau. Cautions out. Ferranti on a 
Rather interesting strategy. Him, Quint Moore, and Brett Pritchard. They're the top three. We'll see how well that pays out. Let's look for ourselves our second caution. Well, turn four obviously has been an issue in the Xfinity series, mainly with the, the two instances that went on by. And here it is for the cup race here. R.J. Bishop getting a little too close to Devin Becker and didn't like where Kev Schuer was at, but unfortunately he said, you know what, someone's going to have to get turned, and he chose Devin Becker right there. And Kev Shear barely going to get through that one right there. And I mean, that was a close call right there. Bishop's going to spin him out, and Clint Spillman, nice job avoiding, is the 24. Oh, never mind, just got a small piece, but he should be fine, though. That really isn't going to affect him a whole lot there. Dylan Thoreau, you seen checked up right there, trying to avoid the incident. And just gets hit from the side from Jessica Shelton, so I don't think Shelton's going to be off the pace. And you can see he'll get a little bit of rear-end damage, too, but that's what brought ourselves our second caution. Take back to the green. Well, welcome back. Alex Ferranti down pit road. He was leading earlier, and now down pit road for whatever reason. They're going to make sure he's good to go. Remember, he took two tires early on, and he is going to surrender the lead. I believe yeah, he's the only car that went down pit road, so now Quentin Moore will be the leader. And nobody out of the race after that incident that was there between Becker and Thoreau. So the rundown of the top 10 will include Quentin Moore as the leader, second Brett Pritchard, third Kate Anderson, fourth Courtney Keith, fifth JT Bride, sixth Noah Hart, seventh Kyle Keith, eighth Dylan Pote, ninth Audrey Bernal, is to complete the top 10, James Qualls. So remember, the top two right now, they went with different strategies. Moore and Pritchard went with two tire stops, while the rest went with four tire stops right there. So we're going to see how the two tire and four tire difference are really going to pan out for sure here at twin ring and keep an eye for Auntie's back out on the track so that is a good sign right there for the 84 car but i know him and kyle matthews they got their work cut out they got to get around all those cars that are going to be causing trouble today throughout the rest of the race so now pace car making its trip back down the pit road two cautions so far as we're on lap 14 to 40 as green flag back underway here at twin ring And Courtney Keith not wasting no time whatsoever. About shoved the three out of the way and going for P3. Kyle Keith tried to get around Noah Hart. Couldn't seem to do it. Now JT Bryant trying to take fourth from Kate Anderson. Going to tuck back in line. Now Bryant going to look back to the inside. Goes to 22. Now Kyle Keith moving the 18 up the course a bit. I think that's what I... F oh, Anderson's coming down pit road. And wow, look at Turner take some advantage right there because of all the checkup. And he passed a good number of drivers, including Seth Cole in the 07, who really checked up big time out of the entire pack there. Wow, I was surprised Moore or Pritchard didn't come down, and rather Kate Anderson. The problem for the Texaco Havoline Chevrolet, the previous race winner there. That's going to keep Noah Hart in the top five. And looks like the rest of these drivers are good to go. Probably the three car got black flagged. And oh, there goes Fisher hard to the wall. And caution is out as Tim Fiegel, Kev Shear, Joshua Osborne, and a few others involved. And that's going to be an end for a few people. And oh, Kyle Matthews got some rear end damage now. And Anderson, what a lucky break that is for her. Which I believe she'll be. Uh, on the lead lap, and that was the last thing Brian and others needed to see. These guys are racing back, and JT Bryant's going to lead the field down here for Car 22. Mythical racing. And they'll come to the line there, and big news that they had, too. Shell Penzo will not be back next season, and Clover, Clover Racing will be a big sponsorship for the 22 team next season. One that's kicking up the smoke a lot. Tim Fiegel, the 95, man. Look how destroyed that auto owner's Toyota is. Pouring some oil onto the course now, so that's not going to be good at all. And Kev Shear is having a good season so far, and that's not going to help. Ravia Fisher was the one that got beat up the worst right there. Maybe the end for him. Jessica Sheldon's got some left side damage from early, or right side damage from earlier's accident. Fisher's going to continue at least. Fiegel out of it. JT Bryant right now 
the leader of the race, and Brett Fritchard now coming down pit road. So no surprise him, and surprising Zachary Fitzwater is going to come on down. Same for Seth Cole. Probably just a checkup on that 07 car. Remember, because he checked up big time earlier on from a couple cars that went down pit road earlier. Bryant is the leader. Let's go take a look at ourselves. Our third caution here at Twin Ring. We'll just get in a little bit checked up because of all the, the drivers that went down pit road earlier on. And you're going to see Tim Field in 95 just get a little too much of a run. You see up there and then up ahead. Sky Commons on the inside line. Ramey Fisher, Jessica Shelton. They all crash right there. Hard hit for Kev Shearer. And then he's going to shoot back up the course. And Tim Fiegel just nowhere to go for that 95. Man, that car just got whacked. Keith Batson barely got through that. Clint Spillman got a small piece of it, but he's going to continue fine there. Osborne got a little piece in that 27. And then you're going to see some drivers in the rear of the field checkup. You see Kyle Matthews, RJ Bishop, Jessica Shelton, Dylan Thoreau, who whacked the 09, Alex Ferranti, Devin Becker. Remember about Matthews and Ferranti, the Keenan Pit Road. Did issues earlier, and now they got damaged, so that's not going to be good. Ferranti should be fine. Same for Matthews, but that's a tough break right there for those drivers. And Sky Commons definitely did not need that at all. Anderson, lucky break for her. Caution's out. Bryant, your leader. Take it back to the green. Pace cars giving us the one lap to go out of the race. Only feuds a few drivers. Kev Shear, Tim Fiegel, and Ramey and Fisher. The rest of the cars that came down pit road, they got their damage repaired. They're back on the course. That mainly included Brett Pritchard, Zachary Fitzward, Seth Cole. JT Bryan, currently your leader there. They are right there. Second, Quentin Moore. Third, Courtney Keith. Fourth, Noah Hart. Fifth, Kyle Keith. Sixth, Dylan Poteet. Seventh, Jesse Turner. Eighth, Jeff James. Ninth, Alex Green. Clean the top ten. Audrey Baranowskis, great run for Baranowskis. She needs that run for sure. Remember those runs in Toyota she had earlier on last season. Didn't really help out Chevrolet. Not bad so far. So pace car coming down pit road. We are past halfway now. 20 to go. 19 when we cross the line. Green flag back underway here at Twin Ring Motegi. First one to duck out of line a little bit is Courtney Keith in the 40. And is going to take P2 from Quentin Moore. Now Noah Hart trying to take P3 from Quentin Moore. And Moore just losing spots now. Left and right is that 89 car. Now Kyle Keefe trying to take position away. Moore with a good run on that outside, but now Kyle Keefe getting a quick run on that inside line. Dylan Poteet now trying to follow suit in that 31 car, trying to do what he can to get around car 89. JT Bryant, though, ever since he's been taking that lead, he's enjoying his little drive he's been having. Noah Hart, though, got around the 89 or more, now trying to hunt down two more drivers to take that top position. Now, my memory serves me correctly about Noah Hart. I do not think he has won a race before in his career. Came close back in Season 1, and really didn't have a whole lot because he spent two seasons. I don't think he did. Regardless, though, a win here at Twin Ring would really be big, especially it's the debut of the seat of the race in the series here. It's going to be a big deal as now Courtney Keith looking to the inside of JT Bryant for the top position. And trying to clear. We'll clear the 22. New leader, Courtney Keith. So they keep looking strong. They got cars first, fourth, sixth. Right now, very good. The next uh, SKM car, you got to go quite a ways back to where Benjamin Miles is in that two car right there. Having a little trouble trying to get out of that high line right there. And Benjamin Miles, previous race winner. Trying to do what he can. And then you got to go all the way back to Kate Anderson. There she is in 33rd right now. And those drivers I mentioned before, well, I guess that damage is affecting their cars quite a bit. I think it's Kyle Matthews. I've noticed in that 09 car, the damage did not affect him at all. However, Alex Ferranti, I'm very surprised. That car is actually affecting him a bit there. As you look on board, he's not having front end damage. But the rear end damage he's got, obviously, is affecting that car. 
Three wide bow. Ember Ross really making an attempt right there over Benjamin Miles and Clint Spillman with the help of Charles Samper and is going to get Spillman's position. Now trying to get Benjamin Miles' position. And will at least get two for one coming to the line. Spillman wisely backs out of it and is going to tuck back in line trying to work his way back up to the front. And now Quentin Moore trying to get back on the offense trying to pass some drivers as now Kyle Keefe starting to lose a couple positions. And here comes Jeff James in the 20. Archangel Racing now starting to make their appearance up there. That Snapple Toyota. Trying to take third position from Noah Hart. About squeezed him right there and will get that third position. Now Trent Dunham trying to take advantage of the 18 being stuck on that high line. And Hart, good move off turn one, tries to prevent it and will do so successfully. Getting closer to 10 laps to go here at Twin Ring Motegi. Three cautions today, and it's been a rather interesting race to play here. Just give me a second. <coughs> Excuse me there. See Diego Yepa is working his way up, and John Art now trying to pass his former teammate and boss there, Kyle Keith. You see Art doing okay for right now, but for the season, but this race he's been terrific getting into that top 10 and trying to hunt down that 59. Diego Yepa is now Kyle Keith in the 42. Free falling to the rear just outside the top 10. That 42 is having a good car all race long. Now I have no idea what's happened to that 42 Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. They are just starting to just reel back a little bit. However, the good news is his sister and teammate Courtney Keith has been outstanding today. And Trent Nunn now trying to take P3 from Jeff James. That Sega Vodafone Chevrolet there. Doing a terrific job right there is Dunham. And now Hart trying to take back the position he lost right there off Jeff James. Trying to get the inside line working there. And as that happens, and Hart's going to get it right here coming into these turns. Trent Dunham's trying to take second from JT Bryant, but Bryant's going to fight back on that high line. Trying to prevent Trent Dunham to get that position and will do so. They're probably going to catch up to Connor Meyer and Alex Ferranti in a bit. And I guarantee when these drivers catch up to them, it's going to be a matter of time to see what will happen. Battle for fifth. Dylan Poteet now trying to hunt down Jeff James. That 31 starting to work his way up through the field. Keep an eye on that great clip Chevrolet. He is starting to pick apart cars left and right for Tweenix Racing. Garter in the five, they're also doing the same thing as well. That's the Cancer Chevrolet right there for Evans Gardner Motorsports. Chevrolet's really trying to make their presence. Same with Toyotas and Mercedes. Teammates, Jesse Turner, Diego Yepes in the top ten. They made a bit of a checkup right there. And now Jeff James under fire from Yepes and Turner. Well, let's go back up to the front of the field as Dunham has got the lead off Courtney Keith there. That one car has been flying through the field. Now JT Bryant trying to take second. Dunham trying to continue a win in every season. In the last four seasons, I believe, he's won every race. He's won a race every in those seasons there in particular. And now Hart trying to take P3 as the Dairy Queen Chevrolet. JT Bryant trying to break a near season long winless streak. His last win came over at Papyrus last season, which was back at race nine. And here we are at race six of this season, nearing 30 races. Now Courtney starting to slip back a bit. John Art getting around the 40, but no problem. That 40 car is right in that high line there. And you see Poti trying to take advantage. Now John Art trying to pass Noah Hart for third, but Hart's going to get a good run on the back straight there, and it's going to prevent John Art from getting that position. Or at least he tried. Here comes Art from Meyer Racing Toyota. Watch out for the Toyos. They're now starting to come in full effect. And Bishop Family Racing starting to make their presence known. And where is Keith Batson come from in the 39? Trying to show that consistency right there. Good 
Dunham, though, enjoying the lead he's got. And if I were Dunham, that driver you may have to worry about isn't going to be Brian. It's probably going to be John Art there in that 0-5 because that Zaxby's Toyota has been working his way through the traffic and picking apart cars left and right. Poteen. Trying to get Noah Hart. And Hart had to check up to avoid hitting that wall there on the outside line. And now Poteen going to get another position. Is the Great Clip Chevrolet, and we'll get it. Dunham, though, coming to four to go, trying to pick up a win and trying to move up the ranks in the all time wins list. Brian got a good run off turn four. He's really hunting down that Sega Chevrolet. They're going to catch that 51. I doubt they'll catch the 84. Just going to quickly look through the rear of the field, and you can see the drivers who are trying to work their way up there. Some of them are having little to no luck there. Anderson jumped up to 28th. A little bit of a comeback. Not a whole lot, but just enough. Cody Lamas, a silent day. At right now, P19. Quentin Moore falling back to 17th, now 18th from Phil Parker. Kyle Keith, wow, he fell all the way back to 13th. That 42 car's been slipping back there, but still hanging on to a decent spot right there to three to go. And Bryant's going to retake the lead from Trent Dunham, and here comes John Hart now. What's going to happen with that 51? I have no idea, but we're coming to two to go. Now here comes John Hart trying to take the lead. Art to the inside, trying to take the lead. Can't seem to make the move. Got to get some draft help in order to get that pass. Two to go. Man, I hope they don't reach him on the last lap. And here comes Art for the lead. Stuck his nose underneath. And remember for John Art, that's Connor Myers' boss and teammate. Could come and play in factor. Now Dunham looking for P2. He knows time's running out. You got to get that lead now. And with Meyer coming, it's going to be a matter of time. But the white flag's about ready to be displayed here at Twin Ring Motegi for the Sega 400. White flag for John Art. Art. Oh, he checks up because of his teammate. Oh, he's checking up big. But he goes to the inside. Trent Dunham trying to get there, but I think that's not going to be enough. Coming to turn three and four. That'll be it. John Hart will get a big win today. He'll win the Sega 400 here at Twin Ring Motegi. John Art is going to pick up a huge win for the Zaxby's Toyota, for Meyer Racing Toyota. And that was a very, very, very big win. He had a lot of struggles in Seg Keith there trying to pick up that victory. And six races in to Meyer Racing Toyota, actually uh, seven races in, gets the job done. What a job well done there for that Zaxby's Toyota there. He's going to pick up a huge victory right there. And you look carefully in that top 10. This is the only Toyota that finished in that whole area there. And that was a nice victory right there. Let's get the rest of your finishing results there. John Art with the victory. Trent Dunham. A little close there, but just didn't have enough time once they caught up to Connor Meyer. Meyer held him up a little more. He would have got it. JT Bryant ends up third. Dylan Poteet fourth. Courtney Keith, fifth. Noah Hart, best career run right there in sixth. Jesse Turner in seventh. Keith Batson in eighth. Diego Yepes in ninth. And Levi McIntyre completing the top ten right there. Not a bad run for McIntyre. Snuck in there. Look at the rest of the uh, field there. Let's go through 11th through 20th. Was Jeff James, Johnny Gardner, Kyle Keith, William Flickinger, James Qualls, Alex Straight, and Phil Parker, Quentin Moore, Charles Sanford, and Audrey Baranowskis. 
And then you look at the rest of the results from 21st on down. Four cars out of the race, two cars a lap down, and 36 cars finished on the lead lap. Well, what an interesting race regardless. Congrats to the winner, John Arndt, on winning the Sega 400 here at Twin Ring Motegi. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, you give it a like. Comment your thoughts. Uh, subscribe part there, so and subscribe button down below. Apologies, I had a belch right in my throat. That was weird. So if you've been watching production of the other soul, where racing is living. We will see you guys later for next week when we head over to Dubai for the next race for the international tour. Race two of four in that tour area. So they're going to travel from Japan all the way over to the United Arab Emirates to compete in the next race. Another, our first road course of three in the international tour that will take play. And it should be fun. What's going to happen is you've been watching the production of the Intercell Racing is Living. Congrats to John Hart one last time on winning the Sega 400. And we'll see you guys later next week. Points to the end of the video like always. Until then, goodbye everybody.